paints of a cookie decorator. Hi everyone and welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collide. Today I'm going to share with you some tips that I think are going to be very helpful for you if you like to spend a lot of time decorating cookies. But first, if you are new here in my channel, please, please don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button and let's get started. More than 10 years ago, I started making cookies and if I knew at that day all the things that I know now, I will make a lot of things very different. Why? Because as you know, when you're younger, sometimes you don't think about some of the consequences that the things that you're going to do are going to be affecting later in your life. So, so if you are young and you love to decorate cookies, I hope that this information will be very helpful for you and this way you can spend more years doing the things that you love. The three things that I'm going to show you first are something that are preventive, okay? When, when I started decorating cookies, I find myself very comfortable decorating cookies for many hours barefoot. That was not the best choice that I could have ever done because like several months of making cookies very intensively I started having a lot of back pain and it was very very painful even for me to bend this way it was so much pain and I never knew that not wearing shoes was one of my main problems and sometimes when you are doing things that you love you lose track of time and you don't even notice that you were standing up for six seven hours straight and that is very very hard on your joints and also on your back so that happened to me I never realized that I was doing cookies standing up for too long and I was not wearing any shoes and sometimes I was also wearing my slippers because I thought that they were very comfortable but they didn't have any support for my arch I have very high arch so I really need something to support those arch for me to not have back pain so after that I started having a lot of pain as I told you so I have to go to the chiropractor and to the massage therapist and a lot of the money that I make setting those cookies I have to spend it on those kind of treatment right at that time I said okay I want to stop doing cookies and this and that and later on my cookie love started to come back again and then I find out that I can fix a lot of those problems just using the proper shoe and also I never realized that there are some shoes especially for chefs as you know chef stand up most of the day and they need a very supportive shoe for them to uh, don't have problems in their bodies so you can get some chef shoes that are very very good i think so that they have a lot of support for the ankles and for the arches and also you can go to see your doctor and he will recommend something for you if you have certain problems okay and another thing that you can do is put an insert on your shoes so that will also help you if you have any food problem okay and if you like to decorate cookies standing up most of the time wearing a supporty shoe or an insert will help you to stay standing up for longer periods of time now let me show you some of my favorite shoes and when I found this brand I fell in love with it because they are super comfortable and they last forever they are a little bit expensive but you can also find them in Nordstrom Rack and Marshalls and TJ Maxx sometimes if you're lucky if you find some of them just grab them because you're going to fall in love and your feet and your knees are going to be super happy these are the flip flop sandals but let me show you the ones that I use every day when I'm working these are the shoes that I use when I'm working and I love 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 them they are also from the same brand as the sandals but these are ballet flats and if you live close by a new balance store please go and check it out because they can make you a little test on your feet and they will tell you what are the problems that you have on your feet and I went there and they recommended to me to use an insert okay and these inserts you can put them in any kind of shoe and I am super happy because they fit my flip-flop ballet flats I was so happy and the flip-flop ballet flats come with a very nice insert and these are the new balance inserts they are very very good and they are different kinds it will depend what are the problems that you have on your feet they will let you know which are the ones for you and i really like that it has a lot of support on the ankle and as well on the arches i am going to put them on my shoe i'm ready to make some cookies 
So wearing a support shoe is very, very good for your feet, but what about for your hands? Okay, if you are a crafter, you might know about this crafter glow that is very, very good to prevent carpal tunnel syndrome, and it helps you a lot on your joints, on your hands. And this is very very good because it gives you a lot of support in this part and if you can start wearing it now and get used to it before you have the problem it will be very very good so this is the craft glow a lot of people that like to knit they like to use it and it's just simple a very like a tight kind of a glow it's made out of licra and it has a some little holes in here so you can put your fingers and it's very very supportive I used to wear it a lot when I had more problems now I don't have a lot but when I was in a lot of pain I used to use this one and it helps me a lot and you can use it in both hands okay that was number one number two is prepare yourself as if you're going to be running a marathon and if you are a cookie decorator, you understand me when I say running a marathon because there are some times during the year that the cookie decorators are very popular and everybody wants cookies, particularly around Christmas and also around graduation time. And one of them is coming up. So if you prepare before that busy time, you are going to be in better shape. And I mean better shape, not only physically, but also mentally. And one thing that you can start doing right now to prepare for those busy times is to do a lot of stretching. I like to do stretching before I start decorating my cookies. That have helped me a lot on my knees and my back and also on my posture. If you do some stretching, your joints are going to be more flexible and these are going to be very good for your hands and for your feet. It depends how do you like to decorate your cookies. I normally like to hold my cookie with my left hand and I like to use the spatula or the pastry bag with this hand. So some of the times I have a lot of pain in this part of my arms and also in my hand. I have noticed that when I do some hand stretching as well, it helps me a lot. And a lot of the tension that you got when you decorate cookies is from, um, it comes from your neck to your hands, or the both of them, and also in your back. So if you do some stretching that is going to be focused on the upper part of the body, it's going to be super helpful and it will help you to decorate cookies with no pain. I'm gonna leave you in the description box below and also if you click the link above, there are some of the stretching videos that I like to do. I am a little older and those are the kinds of videos that I like, but if you are younger, I bet that you are more familiar with stretching videos and if you have one that you like it please leave it in the comment box below i would love to check it out number three i okay if you are young and you have a prescription lens please use them because when i was younger i had my prescription lenses but i didn't wear them a lot and that's a very big, huge mistake if you have a prescription lens it's a prescription lens use it and your eyes are going to be very happy and you are going to be happier too because you are not going to be suffering later on when you get older you are going to start losing your sight and you are going to start getting dry eye and some other problems so if you can prevent all of those problems it will be very very good if you start it now okay one of the things that i like to do is the 20 20 20 so when you are decorating goodies or using the computer for too long you spend a lot of time with your eyes just fixed in one item so if you can do this exercise every 20 minutes try to look 20 feet away for 20 seconds that is going to help a lot on your eyes and your vision is not going to be very tired another thing that i like to use is the dry eye drops but first you need to consult your physician if this is something that is going to be working for you and for the problem that you have but please please pay a lot of attention to your eyes because that is something that you use a lot when you decorate Those three things that I share with you are things that you can do to prevent a lot of the problems but sometimes in reality you don't have time to prepare for that because if you are a cookie decorator you know that your orders come and go as they please. Sometimes you think oh I don't have any order this week and sometimes people call you unexpectedly and ask you for four dozens of cookies for um, the day after tomorrow and sometimes you cannot say no and that's the problem because when you are going to start making cookies when you have a lot of things 
on your life is going to be very stressful because you want to finish your cookies as fast as you can to please your client and also you have to do all the other things that you have to do so one thing that I will recommend to you is that you need to learn to say no when you don't have that cookie order on your schedule try to have a cookie schedule so the people that are going to be ordering you cookies know that they need to let you know ahead of time that they are going to need cookies if we don't educate our customers the customers are going to be over us so please 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 try to tell your customers that you have a calendar and that if they're going to need cookies you need to know ahead of time if not that you're going to make the cookies two months before they need them is that you have to plan your time because most of the time cookie decorators are only our part-time job you need to do a lot of other things so if we educate our customers it's going to be less stressful and you are going to have less pains and aches when you decorate your cookies and if you accept a rush order and you didn't have time to stretch before making the cookies please please try to stretch after you finish your cookies it's always very very helpful too if you stretch after because like you stand up for too long or you use your hands for too long they are going to be very stiff and believe me just try to stretch after a very busy cookie day and you will notice the difference right away Try to relax as much as possible when you're decorating your cookies and try to listen to your body. For example, if you have been making cookies for two hours and you feel like your hands are starting to get rigid, just stop and do some exercises. And also one thing that is very, very important that they have happened to me, just breathe. Just take a little moment and just like inhale and exhale. Try to relax, move your hands and maybe do a little walk or something and this is going to be very helpful for you. Also, when you hold your breath for too long and your hands are very rigid, you kind of start forcing these muscles all the way to your neck and it's going to be very, very painful for a while. So I find out that restorative yoga is very, very helpful for me because it has helped me to open this part of my body because I have noticed that I like to decorate the cookies like this, like in a shell position. I don't know how if you call it like that, but I like to kind of close my body this way. So doing the restorative yoga, it has helped me to open this part and have a more relaxed this part of my body and this way I don't have too much pain and I hope that this video that is in the link above will help you as it has helped me and another thing that you need to pay attention is that as you know when we decorate cookies we lose the track of time and we can be decorating cookies for six to eight hours in a row it has happened to me and if you are like me that you like to decorate cookies standing up you won't be aware that you have been standing up for that long and that is very hard on your body so try to switch standing up and sitting when you are decorating your cookies and, and also you can set up some timers for you to switch from standing to sitting. That is something that has been also very helpful for me and I hope that will be helpful for you too. And last but not least is that you don't have to compare yourself or your cookies to other cookie decorators. As you know, the cookie decorator world is crazy. There are a lot of competition and there are a lot of great cookie decorators. Cookie decorating is something that you are going to build up with time. So if you have just one year decorating cookies and you're comparing yourself to someone that has been decorating cookies for 20, 30 years, obviously your cookies are not going to be as perfect as those, but that doesn't mean that they are not pretty and that there are not people that are going to love your cookies. So please don't compare yourself and your cookies to other persons. Always try to be super proud of what you're doing and just remember that this is something that you can get better every day that you decorate cookies. You are going to start learning a new technique and you're going to start building your own techniques because each cookie decorator is different. The way that we decorate cookies is different and our cookies are different, but all of them are pretty and gorgeous and delicious because you put a lot of passion and love into them. So this is something that I want to add to this video with because it's very important for me that you feel very proud of all your cookies. And when you feel very proud of what you do, the people can see it and the people will appreciate more what you do, okay? So this is it for today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please don't forget to subscribe, push the notification button, follow me on my social media, and don't forget to stretch.
breathe and always be very proud of all your achievements in your cookie decorating. Bye-bye!